I'm here. Uh, today we're gonna go through how to make a sound kind of like rehab, um, how he makes some of his bass sounds. Uh, sounds like this. Why isn't it working? It's like really a thick um, bassy sound that um, I find this stuff is just so much energy in it and it just goes off in the club. So we're gonna go through that right now. Drag in a massive, um, make sure it's initialized. Then we're gonna go to ooh, VA pum, drop it down to octaves. Uh, we're gonna keep this at the bottom. We're gonna put this up to amp over here actually. And we're gonna make sure this goes all the way to filter one. Uh, next, leave this as a square saw one and we're gonna drop this down to 12. Uh, put it to about there, just move it up a little bit. Intensity to about 3 o'clock and the amp all the way up. Make sure that also goes to filter 1. So it sounds like you turn off filter 3, you don't need it. Uh, modulation, we're going to go up one octave, so up to plus 12. And we're going to do this like this 3, 2, 3. So ring modulation, we're going to put it up a little bit. Phase modulation, we are going to put it uh, up a, just about to there. And then position, excuse me, we're also going to keep it about there. So it's already got that kind of like fluffy sound to it that's like aggressive as well. Uh, we're going to put it into parallel, we're just going to have a low pass 4. I'm going to do this section last because the filter, as soon as I put this on, you're not going to hear any sound. So we're going to put it all, or just keep it in the middle mix here. Uh, for effects, we're going to have a reverb, and with the reverb, we are going to uh, just put it up a little bit. Uh, and the next one we're going to put in is a chorus. So chorus is, uh, basically, it just, it's kinda, it just kind of spreads the sound out a little bit. So we're just going to have a little bit of chorus on it, because on basses, you want more like thick stuff straight down the middle. So... Uh, uh, then the offset, we'll put that over there, and the depth will make it kind of big and wide. Uh, EQ, we're going to definitely need to turn the EQ on in this section. And we're just going to put it up there, we're going to boost the low, actually we'll keep the low shelf, we're going to boost it a little bit. Take out some of those uh, higher frequencies. Um, in the oscillator part, we're going to put it to rate. Then in the voicing tab, just change this to monophonic. Pretty sure that's what I had. Oh no, leave it at, leave it at polyphonic. That's already a cool sound. Um, right here, parabolic shaper. We're gonna turn it up, turn it up, and put the drive all the way up. Yeah. Um, that's pretty much it for that stuff. Now we're going to do the low pass filter. So we're going to put low pass 4 and keep all these down. We're going to put this number 2 into here. We're going to crank it up to about there. Good. Um, and then we're going to put a number three into a, a couple places. So we're going to put it here, and we're going to crank it up to about there, and then here, and crank it up to about there, and then here, and we're going to crank it down all the way. Now on this one, we want it to... We want to find that sweet spot, because if we listen all the way here, it's too much. And then it's just, some of the sounds just not coming in at the same time. So you want to... That's almost too much. There we go. You can even see what a sign shape will do on this. I didn't initially have this when I made it. So this sound is pretty much done. 
Now what I would do here also is go into audio effects again, EQ8. Right there it looks like there is. There and so right there I would put a notch filter. And then also right there I would put a notch filter. Just to clear up some energy. Then in the, this one, I probably. Oops. Raise up the bass because you want, as you see on the spectrum, to have this is a nice bassy tone. And then you could even. Oh. That's not what I wanted to do. Let's turn on one of these. And we will make it one of these ones. some of the highs and then also I put on multi-man dynamics yeah that sounds pretty dope let's hear it sounds super dope um, yeah sweet uh, got that cracking out um, just some info on us or uh, some updates on us we got uh, a song coming out with bombs away Heaps of stuff coming on a Panda Funk. They have um, been working with us. We like we have a free track, uh, Moonbaton track coming out. So that'll be sweet. Super, just tons of Moonbaton stuff. Just love that shit. Really gets the booty jiggling, and everybody loves booty jiggling. Booty jiggling. Um, yeah. So I'm uh, gonna continue popping out these tutorials. Uh, again, I said last week, and I'll say every week until it comes out. Uh, join our mailer list. It's in the comment section or the link select section below and you'll be able to get information on how to get our courses because I know I've gotten lots of requests of people that want to know how to make a track from start to finish including mixing it down including all this spot EQing stuff that I was talking about because you need to make room for all this stuff or in, uh, um, and all your noises and stuff like that so when I go through a comprehensive uh, track um, like formula it will really explain a lot of stuff to the people and you can also like mimic stuff and change it around so that you will be able to uh, do it yourself and make your own songs. Sweet! Alright, uh, don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, all that jazz and I'll see you next week. Peace!